right, so I'm here with, with Captain Anemia, Trevor <laughs> Kusha over here. Good thing we're skinny dudes with our tower here. But uh, we're having, having a little bit of fun. There's been some trash talking going on for about a month and a half now. We're having a bit of a, bit of a competition today. We don't know what the rules are. But we do know that whoever catches the most fish is going to be talking a lot of stinking trash tonight. <laughs> but we're down here in the lower laguna. We're in we're in Trevor's boat. It's super skinny boat, which is good because we're in super skinny water Very right skinny, now. About a foot. Yeah, the tides aren't real 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 great right now for anything. But the, I, I would describe it as a piece of toast with 60 horses on it. It's a potato chip with a 60. But we we have we've already moved across a couple of pieces of water that were probably an inch or two deep. So I already like it. But we're out, we're out sight casting, we're out searching. Trevor's got a bunch of stuff on social media, a bunch of really cool videos of tailing reds and catching them. And typically he's got a phone in one hand and he casts the other one, sets the hook, clicks it in, oh, fights the fish. <laughs> he just kind of holds his reel and acts cool. <laughs> but anyway, me, me, and old, me and old Captain Mustachio, we're out here today. We're gonna see if we can't find some redfish. See what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. It, I think he's nervous. I'm kind of nervous. He's making me cast <laughs> left-handed today. This is not my spot on the tower, but I've already watched him we, jump down. We and made a rule: the first person that catches fish gets to pick the, the spot on the tower. So well, every time you catch a fish, you can you can either keep your spot or, or switch it. Exactly. What's the punishment for a lost fish? Oof. Oof. You if you can make if, a rule on that one. Okay. If you stick, if you actually stick the fish and lose him while he's on the hook, then the other guy gets to choose what lure you go with next. You catch a fish on that lure, then you can go back to what you want to use. All right. I like that rule. All right. Deal. I like that rule. Well, see if we can find a redfish. Yeah. We need to find a redfish before we can stick a redfish. That sounds about right. After it, this is something you learn after years on the water, is in order to catch a fish, you must find a fish. Step one, find it. It took me 10 years to figure that out. I think I'm still looking at it. <laughs> uh oh, Jimmy, get the counter out, Jimmy. Uh oh. oh. Trevor knew where the short bus fish were. <laughs> oh no! Uh. Oh no! Oh, hey. oh boy. Hey. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you know what that means, man. What am I, what am I throwing? Get the crankbait out, Jimmy. <laughs> <Get> the... <laughs> Jimmy, did you uh, did you trim his line a little bit? Hey, I, Jimmy was telling me that you were thinking about that. Did he? Did you? Did you? Dude, you I know us? you did, Caleb. Did you tell him? Oh, we're gonna be in trouble today, Jimmy. I was sure hoping. I was sure hoping he wouldn't see that one. Me and Trevor both looked up and saw him the same, same time. You put it a little bit too far left of him. Yeah. And, and then I come just... back right and I was like, oh, I'm about to cast at that one. And then he went, oh. See if this one touches fiberglass. It yeah. touches fiberglass. Watch out. Get him, Steve. A little start for the day. I would cast at them, but I'm really not into beginner fish. Here we go. I think Caleb's got someone that's gonna give him a run for his money, boys. I'm just waiting until we get in a good fish. <laughs> How long did you spend soaking that lure in gulp? <laughs> I didn't think you'd smell it. Hey, control your suspect, man. Hey, what are we hey, doing? Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna tell Jimmy you over here high sticking. <laughs> Shout out, Steve. Sorry, right, Caleb. Must be nice to have all those downwind casts. Hey, you catch one, you can get the seat, Caleb. <laughs> Would you hurry up and come put me back in fish? <laughs> All right.
All right, so it's currently two to nothing. Huh? Oh, we're not counting that last one, huh? We're fishing with a handicap over here. A handicap. Handicap? I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's two to nothing, Trevor. Whenever I finally tangle one up over here in no man's land where he keeps putting me at, <laughs> I'll put him over here. Get and a little taste of that no man's land. Turn. And if it doesn't, it's really gonna suck for me. But the tide's gonna turn. It, it, we drove 40 miles just to put me on the shoreline <laughs> where nothing happens on this side of the boat. Hey, look at redfish. But nothing happens over here. <laughs> hey, look at redfish. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he's done this before. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, I feel like he had the same game with the ladies. Yeah, we're talking. You don't get to cast what we're talking. What are we doing right now? Hey. What are we doing right now? I need as many numbers as I can get right now. Yeah. I know. I know you're just giving me some warm up. Time. That's super. That's soft, super soft stuff right there. <laughs> hey Caleb, we want you to talk. Oh, well, I'm gonna keep fishing. All Come right, on, dude. I see how it is. You're the voice. I see how it is. Man, the, the wind keeps whistling around your legs and distracting me. Is a problem. Just making excuses, Jimmy. Deafening. Just full of excuses today. Deafening. Full of excuses, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, come on, catch one, dude. Then you can do all the talking you want. When I catch one, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be so big, it's gonna count as two, and we're gonna be tied up. <laughs> Jimmy, are we not counting that first one, Jimmy? I don't think so. I thought I thought it hit boat. At, at the bottom of the boat. <laughs> yeah. It's... Oh, that's perfect. If you catch a trout, it, it, you deduct a point. See, you act, if you can actually get him in the boat, we'll count him. All right, now you got three. You been watching the Astros play lately? <laughs> Hitting dingers or what? No, man, they, they get up big in the beginning and then, and then they get their hopes and their spirits crushed at the end. So are you trying to say something? I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm calling you Altuve right now. Oh, Altuve. Slightly underestimated, but still a shrimp. <laughs> got it at right. no you're over here trying to sabotage no. me running my fish off he got the runaway you know Caleb, right, hey look i'm gonna make him touch the boat three that's, times that's honestly so sweet of you to get the little ones out of the way for me what's funny is you're just getting the little ones out of the way for me did he get down to get that last fish off Jimmy? no no did he get down to easy, get him off easy now look at that one look at that one to left right yeah Oh, man, got me. Make a bunch of noise. Ah! You caught my Suck whole bunch. <laughs> Does that count? Dude, did you, you broke off? I think you frayed all my line. No, I, I think you frayed all my line. I wouldn't do that to you. Dude, I'm over trying to catch fish and you're throwing your line in front of me now. Okay, here did we go. Did you do that, Jimmy? Hey, your leader didn't break. There's one going away 11 o'clock, 30 feet. I'll see him. Great cast. Great cast. What? What a rat. Better. <laughs> no, you absolutely can't say we cut that because you cast it out. Uh, yeah, time. you're right. Last night, I got no excuses Last night now. at the bar, he's like, well, what do you throw? I was like, man, I throw 50 pound braid. He's like, oh, well. Me and my little mustache, we're light tackle people. We throw 15. <laughs> that's that's like two out of six casts broken. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna let the numbers do the talking right now. Are you? Okay, well, your number is two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so me and Trevor, we're out here side casting. We're in the lower Laguna. Uh, we've been going out about two and a half hours now. We have, we have four fish in the boat, but frankly, they're being quite fickle. And man, it's hot. The only thing, the only reason we're not cooking is this wind, because it is also blowing. Now, if, if we didn't have these fancy mics, it would sound a lot worse than this. It probably sounds like it's not blowing at all. It's well, every bit of what, 20, 25 right now? 25, yeah, sustained it, 25. It is blowing. And uh, 
But we're, what we're doing is instead of targeting in the real shallow stuff, we're finding, finding holes that are maybe about six inches deeper than the flats around it. And the reason we're doing that is it's, it's hot, the water's hot, and these fish aren't wanting to be real shallow. Early in the morning we found some there, but now we're moving a little bit deeper. Uh, I'm throwing, I'm throwing a, a smaller paddle tail on a quarter ounce jig head. The reason I'm doing that is because I didn't bring my spinner baits with me. Typically, and I've never given this tip out before, but typically whenever it's really blowing, I'll throw a spinner bait because whenever I get it in the water, then the, when the wind starts blowing on my line, that spinner bait's dragging it and I can keep it on a line where I want to go with my fish where multiple times this morning, Trevor and I have both made good casts and then the wind took our lure about that much too far one way or the other and it didn't work out. Uh, Trevor's throwing, he, he's got a chunk of lead. <laughs> like this I'm thing. throwing a five pound weight. Yeah, this thing right here, we could anchor the boat with that. <laughs> but his caster, his caster straight at him and more accurate than mine because he is throwing more weight. Um, my, what I have in my box is a half ounce and it's a little bit more than I want to use. And frankly, I'm trying to give Trevor a chance here. <laughs> he's, up, he's up on me by two fish right now? Two. He's yeah. up on me by two fish right now. But uh, man, we're just working with what we got with the wind. We're putting the wind behind us. Now, Trevor, his fish are straight down wind. He keeps pointing out ones to me over here, <laughs> which frankly is just rude if we're being honest. Caleb just likes making excuses. This but... man over here at the left-handed rail casting on the right side of the, the tower. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just frankly unfair. But yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to keep doing. Right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. The sun's going to start getting up higher. It's going to start lighting up those fish even better. And we're going we're gonna to roll with them, but we're probably going to continually move a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper as the heat really starts to set in. So that's, a, that's the adventure of Caleb and Trevor thus far this morning. Absolutely. Good morning so far. Fish are being a little finicky, but we're trying to work around them. Bird almost pooped on you. This is my luck. Need him to start cooperating. Here you go, Jimmy. Ready? We're seeing good fish, but this is a good taco. What? I think your lure might be bigger than that one. <laughs> I think he is. I like his attitude though. You know, he's still good looking. What do you think, Steve? He said, Steve said no. No respect to that one. Steve said no. Sam, what is that thing? He sure as hell looked a lot bigger in the water, though. Well, when you said that was a good one, I cut you some slack. <laughs> You're being nice. There's one. No, it's catfish. Yes. Grass bass. Good old Bart Sand Angel. Doubled up, doubled up all day, both Jimmy. Duds. We out here. Easy tournament fish, Jimmy. You're not supposed to be able to pick up redfish in the tower this easy. Uh, to get Jimmy to actually be recording when I catch a fish, I had to let you catch a fish first. Is that right? Yeah, there's some teaming crap going on here. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. That's where I had him hooked. That's another hook. Yeah. Yeah. He's a slow learner. <laughs> a little learner. Get there one day. All right, we maintain. I maintain the margin. I I've lost track of the score. Three, the three to five. Five. Three to five. I had to leave that one there slow. But when he hit it, it's the most aggressive hit we've had. Down, camera guy. Woo. 
45? Oh. I think that one ought to count like three. <laughs> Your fish don't have handles in the right spot, Trevor. The South Texas red green. That is. Finicky. That's on that that's on that Wiggalo Jr. that uh only we can have right now. On that specialty. Yeah. It's a good one. He did. Yeah. When I left it sitting there like that. He thought about it for a minute. Look at it. all over it. I think he actually left it on the bottom. He ate it. He was on the bottom. Oh! Did you miss him? I was gonna land that thing. Yeah. High score still. Yeah, you can get in the back of the boat. You're in timeout, dude. <laughs> oh, look at this big one. You got me good, man. Talk about strategy, Jimmy. I've told so much tip. <laughs> That's all I was. Hot tip of the day, boys. <laughs> God damn. Getting some ice? Yeah, flat size. That's what I did. I'll put a bag of ice in a K Wiggler's bag. And Call it a day. The trouble is now I have to be nervous the rest of the day. <laughs> I feel like if you do it back, that's just like that's that's, that's just that, fair game. Well, it's not being original though. Well, I mean that's just fair though. I mean, well the good thing is is I got you fucking second guessing your next move. I mean I know I flinch every time I cast now. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, hey, start carrying Jimmy, it. Back. I go like this. <laughs> Jack cast. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, there's one over there, and I look, he's like, ha, yeah. honk. You know, you're the first guy I got with a fake out. <laughs> Pretty smart, wasn't it? Good, ta good tactics right there. Good tactics. Secret to success, I think. Ain't that right, Caleb? That's it. Definitely harder to park it in the grass when you don't have your hand in the right spot. Dude, that's just money. I like it. You should keep doing that the rest of the day. Give you a chance. That's it. <laughs>
while you're down there. <laughs> You better not cut my line. <laughs> Steve, give him kisses. Catch, but that was a good fish. We'll give you that. Good news is you rinse your reels off and flush your motor every night. You think that is that my fault? That's the good news. Yep. <sighs> they doesn't suck. It's amazing what you can do when there ain't a guy up there just casting them all everything and scaring everything in it. <laughs> Now I hit the bump. Me and Brandon are dead. Let me take my fish off, dude. You can't see. Do you like that? Not terrible. First. Actually, I put it right in front of him when it landed this was not cool. It was scary, but since you hadn't spooked him already, he actually went ahead and ate. Yeah, I, I think most guides know how to not screw up the fishing for the people that's with them. Just work on that. Hey guys, it's Captain Trevor Kusha here with uh, Caleb McCumber. Uh, we went out why, to Why are you Captain Trevor and I can't be Captain Caleb? Okay, okay. So, Try, start over. Okay, so, 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 hey guys, how you doing today? It's Captain Trevor Kusha. Now, when you do, along with you, Captain Caleb McCumber. But hey guys, that's like the weirdest what, YouTube. What, that's like a YouTube. Hey guys, hey guys. You can't start. You know, with I'm hey not, guys. I'm not like a pro YouTuber. You can't start like with hey you. guys. All right, do it again. So how how, how do we how do we go about this? I mean, just be, be hey, natural. Folks. Quit being so awkward. Hey folks. I mean, go with something. All right. Now we're just burning the SD card. <laughs> Well, hey, hey, dudes, this is, it's, it's, you know, it's a little biased. A sexist. Yeah, I know. Fascist. Something. Well, well, what's, your, what's your catchphrase? I don't, I mean, I don't have a catchphrase. I just talk normal. All right. All right, go. Captain Trevor Kusha here with Caleb, Captain Caleb McCumber. There we go, got that. We went out today side casting here in the Little Laguna, South Padre. Um, had a great time with Caleb the past day and a half, hanging out with him, getting it's, to know him. Seemed like a week, didn't seeing it? Seeing him missing fish all the time. We yeah. saw a bunch of good fish today. We were working a little drop off with some potholes, mainly pothole area. Um, the range was anywhere from five feet to 40 yards away. Um, I don't know, how many you say we caught today? I'm, I'm going off this new term I learned. We fished a pothole area. <laughs> uh, we saw a bunch of fish. Trevor had a little competition going on and Trevor, he beat me. Uh, if there's some things to take away from this, one, uh, you don't judge a guy by his restraining order on his upper lip. Just because he can't go to within 500 yards of a school doesn't mean he can't fish. But in all honesty, we were in shallow water. It was clear water. Uh, the fish were a little bit spooky anyway because the tide was lower. And Trevor was able to see them further out than I could most of the time. And that was the majority of the fish that caught were the ones that were way out there. And once they got close to the boat, they got real tough to catch. Uh, Trevor was throwing the... the uh, no, no, it's uh, the truth. Four yeah. inch paddle tail. The paddle tail. I was throwing the 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 Wigalow Junior that you can't get until the fishing show next year. But Trevor did. He he beat me this time. Um, we'll have round two soon. Yeah, round two. He's gonna have yeah. to come up to my area. I mean, I'm gonna tell you all what. These fish down here, they hard to see. They're, they're the same color as the dang sand is. Yeah. You, if you're not, if your eyes aren't adapted to them, they're they're. And they're you and you got see. 24 year old eyes. To 41 year old eyes that's that's a big jump i mean whenever i was 24 i was better at fishing i was better at call of duty i was better <laughs> at everything but no uh yeah Tr trevor got me i think he beat me by a total of five fish and broke off another five yeah you know. easily um, the we'll see maintaining his gear is important to him we got back <laughs> rinsed everything off flush his motor but the line on his rod sucks <laughs> 
But hey, if y'all want to come down here and fish the lower Laguna and do some sight casting, this little rig that Trevor has is sweet. I'd mean one, two people max, right? Yeah, one, two, two max. But, but if, if you want to come do some super shallow, clear water sight casting redfish, Trevor kept us on fish for two days and it's been blowing. It hadn't been easy to, to find fish and stay on fish, but we dang sure did it. Um, Steve enjoyed him. No. But hey. Nonetheless, great time. I'm Captain Caleb. <laughs> That's Trevor Cuscio over there. He's a nimble one. Uh, congrats on getting me this time. Yeah, but we'll, we'll save it for next time. Well, Let's see what happens. I might, I might yeah, actually, sure I might actually use my good lure next time. See, as a, as a content creator, you have to be able to build suspense and have endings and stuff. And so I was letting you get a lead, and then I was going to come back on you. But then this wind kicked up, and you were like, "Man, I love I'm, the excuses." I'm tired of. I mean, I was I was ready to get out there and like finish this video, but then you're like, "No, nah, you know next what? Time you just need to rock the Mustang." Let's go home. I'm tired. My fraternity brothers want to see me. Hey, Trevor Kusha. Last great time. Captain Caleb, Kay Wigglers, we're out. Jimmy Frosto.